Hello everyone, and welcome to a game called... Hold on, wait for it. It's coming! Here it comes! I, I gotta get my food out for a second. It's... Adventures with Anxiety! This is made by Nikki Case, the same person who made the coming out. Um, simulator, and, uh, excuse me as I read this, Munplazer, Munplazer, I don't know how to say it, sorry, whoever you are. Anyway, content noises. Ah, Adventures Anxiety is about, well, anxiety, but I made this for folks with anxiety disorder, like myself. I hope it can help you see whatever this is, with humor, and whatever this is, how anxiety works, and just maybe reduce the fear of fear itself. There's also badly drawn stick figures and hyperactive wolf. Enjoy. I think I am playing anxiety, so I don't know if I'm supposed to do my job and make this person more anxious, or if I'm supposed to help this person to become less anxious. I don't know, we'll see. Welcome. This is less of a game, more of an interactive story. Hope you like reading, sucka. I love reading. So before we start, how would you like to read? This is this is an upgrade already, because the last time I couldn't even read it. Like, it was going so fast, I could barely get it through, so hopefully it'll work this time. Great. Note, you can always change the options. Now let's begin with our story! This is a human. Amazing. And this is the human's anxiety. You are the anxiety. Oh good. My wolf's back. Fantastic. Your job is to protect your human from danger. I see. In fact, that sandwich is putting them in danger right now! Quick, warn them! Human. Listen, we're in danger, and the danger is... Oh god, I'm gonna reveal a lot about myself today. That's fine. I'm okay. <laughs> Let the anxiety come out to play. Pick what's most similar to what your fear tells you. We're eating alone for lunch again. Oh, I don't care about that. We're not productive while eating. The white bread's bad for us. Hmm. I don't like bread. I like some bread. It has to be done right, though. I'm not productive. That sounds like me a lot better, actually. We're not productive while eating. Whip out your laptop and do some work right now. Um, I'd rather not get crumbs in my keyboard. If we're not contributing to the body of society, then we're a society parasite. The society body will go to the society doctor for medication to kill their society parasites and will die. Wow. Dang. You use fear of being a bad person. It's super effective. See, human? I am your loyal guard wolf. Trust your gut. Your feelings are always valid. Get your human's energy bar to zero. To protect their physical and social and moral needs, you can use fear of being harmed, fear of being unloved, and fear of being a bad person. Pro tip, play the choices that personally hit your deepest, darkest fears. Great, I love exploring my deepest, darkest fears in front of my whole entire audience and whoever else likes to watch these videos I put together to see. Amazing. You know what? Maybe it's time to check my phone. 
protect your human from the world, from other people, from themselves. Good luck. Round one. Fight! Huh, Facebook feed says that there's a party happening this weekend. Doesn't that weirdo throw a party every weekend? What inner void are they trying to fill? They must be deeply messed up on the inside. Like you, Mr. Wolf. You are deeply messed up on the inside. Also, I got an invite. Well then, say yes or we'll die from loneliness. Say no, it's full of poisonous drugs. Ignore it. We just make parties sad. That's my answer. Oh my gosh. Ignore it. We just make parties sad. All we ever do at parties is worry about how we should be productive instead. Gee, I wonder why. So if we go, we'll make them feel bad. But if we reject their inv invite, we'll also make them feel bad. All we do is make people feel bad, so we should feel bad. Ugh. If it'll make you shut up, fine. I'll ignore the invite. Anyway, Facebook's too much. I need something calmer, less anxiety producing. Let's new on Twitter. Oh no, look at that horrible news story. Oh no, is that a tweet secretly about us? Hey, a gif of a cat drinking milk. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I don't ever think this. I think that that's less anxiety and more delusion. But anxiety creates delusion, so... Hmm. I, I like... I don't like looking at horrible news stories, but I like reading about them, if that makes any sense. So let's do that. Oh, look at that horrible news story. God, it feels like the world's burning, isn't it? It feels like it's all ending, like everything's dying and we're doomed and there's nothing we can do about it. Yep. Let's retweet that story. Harm. Okay, I'll retweet it. Just please be quiet. Screw it. Let's look at the Snapchat. Huh? Photos from yesterday night. So that's what those weekly parties are like. Uh, hmm. That looks really fun. Maybe I shouldn't have ignored the invite. Keep ignoring. We're still party poopers. Actually say yes. Actually say no. Uh, actually say, I don't know, if they really want me to come, I'll come, but I don't like social interaction at all, to be honest. So, actually, say yes. You're letting me have fun? Well, I mean, loneliness can kill us. Chronic loneliness increase our, I'm sorry, cortisol levels. As well as risk our cardiovascular disease and the stroke. Harm. I am doing my job. Shut up, shut up. I'll change my answer to yes. God. Whatever. New Tinder notification. What? That hookup app? It's not a hookup app. It's just a way to meet new people. It's a hookup app. Oh, I got a match? They look cute. Please don't ruin this for me. Danger, 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 danger. This is real life, y'all. We're being used by other people. We're just using other people. You match is a serial killer. Um, uh, this is more my concern. I'd rather this person be a serial killer than being used by someone. If if that sounds horrible, then welcome to my world. We're being used by other people. Random hookups may be able to fill a hole down there, but they can never fill the hole in here. So poetic, anxiety. I wish my anxiety were that poetic. Mostly it's just screaming the whole time at the top of their lungs. The point is, we're all going to die alone. Unloved. True. Oh dang. I'm so sick of this game. We're all society parasite. The world is burning. We'll die alone? I just want to live my life. I just want to be free from all this. Pain. Hey. Human. It'll be okay. 
As your loyal guard wolf, I'll always keep an eye out for danger and do my best to keep you safe. I promise. Last app, Instagram, what you got? My favorite app. Um, except for YouTube, of course. Yeah, YouTube's my, but definitely my favorite app. Not Instagram, I promise. It's my second favorite. All right, don't kill me, YouTube. I only, I only try to work for you. I don't work for you yet, but we're gonna get there. I wanna get there. It's more party pictures. Everyone looks so happy, free from worry, free from anxiety. God, why can't I be like them? Why can't I just be normal? Speaking of parties, about this weekend's invite, here's my final decision. Let's just go, why not? Like, I normally don't go, and I know it says to do it to, like, our best, our most decisive answering decisions, right? But let this person go, because that person is not me. And I know... It's supposed to simulate me, but it's not me right now. We should... <sighs> Flip, man. You. What? What? I'm going to say yes to that party. Not because you want me to, but because I want to. You're not in control of me. Now excuse me while I eat this delicious sandwich in freaking peace. Uh... Oh god. Ah, uh, we're gonna die. Uh, everyone hates us. Ah, uh, we're a horrible person. Uh, let's see. Do I care more about everyone hating me, or do I care more about being horrible people? I care more about being a horrible person. We're horrible people. Ah! The end. Congratulations! You successfully protected your humans' physical, social, and moral needs. Why, well, look how grateful they are. Yep, that is a pure face of gratefulness right there. Now that their energy is zero, you can directly control their actions. Pick your ending move. Finish them. Fight. Punish your stressful phone. Flight, curl up in the ball and cry. Um. Well, I wouldn't throw my phone. By flight. The whole world is filled with danger. Don't do like the armadillo. Curl up into a ball for self defense. Curl up, curl up, curl up and cry and cry and curl up and cry. Yep. This is real. Real life, y'all. You win! yippee yo What?! Oh no, I didn't see my statistics. Oh. Is there an- Oh, I went to the party! But did you see that news story? How horrible thing happened somewhere. Ha hi Oh my. God, I hate the news. It's all sen sensationalism and clickbait. Nah. Nice party. Um, true, but they're just following insensitive. The real problem is people who click the clickbait. Who would retweet a terrible news story and make all their friends feel bad? Ugh, I know, right? I retweeted the horrible news story. Oh my god, that scream. That scream from the picture. Round two, let's go. Oh no, they hate us. Were you ogling the redhead? Hey, let's talk about the meaning of life. Oh no, they all hate us. I talk about this all the time, so they hate us. Oh no. We're bringing down the mood of this party by being a, such a sad lump. We're killing the good vibes. We're committing first degree vibe murder. Human, we have to leave now before... Um, can you hear me, human? Excuse me? Oh, I must warn you about. More of the same danger, a different social danger. You're ignoring danger. That's dangerous. A different social danger. Let's try that. 
actually, you know, oh, what's worse than no one liking you? Everyone liking you! Oh no, that's not a problem. I wish everyone liked me. <laughs> that is becoming one of these pleasure-chasing party animals. A shallow life with shallow friends who only know the shallow you. Human, we need to run away from these pleasure zombies before they turn us into one of them. Uh... Oh, thank goodness, human, I fight. I think you can hear me again. I shall warn you about more of the same danger, a different... Did you check that punch before drinking it? This is my, this is my anxiety right here. Did you check that punch before drinking? I'm not being irrational. People do drug punch bowls. That is an actual thing that actually happens. Human, does your head hurt? Are your limbs limp? I think we're dying. Uh, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying. I don't care about dying. Unloved, harm. Fuck! Fucking, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry. Yay, human, I'm so glad you can hear me again. Why were you ignoring me? Holy hell, you absolute moron. You know the at Native American story? There are two wolves inside you. One is hope, one is despair. Which wolf wins? The one you feed. I was trying to starve you, you sadistic asshole! Screw it! I'll do positive affirmations instead. I am loved. I am good. I am smart. I am beautiful. I am special. No. Golly, that's so narcissistic. You know, affirmations were disproven. Oh my god, don't credit random stories on in- That- that's my- oh my gosh, this is getting too real, too real. That's so narcissistic. You need to humbly see your own flaws in order to grow as a person. You can't spray air freshener over a moldy room. Covering up your flaws makes you worse in the long run. Thankfully, I, as your loyal guard wolf, can alert you to your flaws. And right now, it's everything. Everything is wrong. True. Ass, damn it. You know what? You're irrational. Everyone knows emotions are irrational, especially fear. You're a useless evolutionary leftover like my appendix or wisdom teeth. Hell, this whole wolf metaphor is stupid. You're just a bunch of neurochemicals in my head. So why should I listen to a worthless, irrational, non-existent piece of shite like you? Oh no. Jeez, human, that's really hurtful. I'm a feeling. Feelings are valid, human. We're both just chemicals. Hmm. Feelings are valid. That's really hurtful. I'm part of you, you know. When you say that, you're hurting yourself. Why are you hitting yourself, human? Stop hitting yourself! I think she's gonna become a serial murderer in the end. I hate this. God, it hurts so much. I hate this. I can't appease you. I can't ignore you. I can't fight you. No matter what I do, I can't seem to get rid of you. Well, maybe you're not supposed to get rid of me. How do you think I feel, human? I'm trying to do my best to be your guard dog, but you keep seeing me as some big bad wolf. So I'm trying even harder to alert you to danger. More danger. Different danger. But no matter how hard I try to protect you, you still think I'm your enemy. Why am I doing wrong? I know I suck at my job, but I'm trying, human. I'm trying. You don't have to heed my warnings, or agree with me, or even like me. I just... All I want for you is to be patient with me. Just want for you to sit with me for a while, instead of turning away and... Hey. Ooh, she hot. Look like you caught yourself in a fight with yourself, kid. Was it that obvious? You were, uh, mumbling at the hoodie about punch bowls or something. Yeah, I tend to mumble my own anxieties a lot, too, so that is... God, I'm such a mess. Hey, you're not alone, friend. Anxiety's super common. Heck, just yesterday I heard someone curled up into an armadillo ball and cried in public! Ah-ha! That was me! 
Listen, I know what it's like to have that animal in your or head. We all do. That's why I throw these parties every weekend to forget our worries, forget that animal. But my anxiety. Don't worry, kid. I used to be like you. But then I found a little trick to get that negative voice to shut up forever. Was that? Booze! My own specialty blend is a bit stronger than, well, anything legal, really. But it's a biatch! Dude, I actually would never turn this way. Oh my god. This is a bad coping mechanism. Don't take drinks from strangers. That's the best one! Mmm, what an exquisite palette A full body flavor. Shut your mind up with a subtle aftertaste and never feel anything again. This is bad, human. This is really, really bad. This is actually how addiction starts. I knew the host was deeply messed up. Also, they could have drugged that. They could. Oh. Delicious and cheaper than therapy. Human, please stop. <laughs> and what are you going to do about it, asshole? I'm so sorry, human. I'm going to have to use my special attack. Um, unloved. Pain to society, hurt or unlove. What's this crap? You're gonna yap more stupid words at me to- Hadouken! Oh. Uh, it's true. What the hell was that? I'm sorry, I need to show you the consequences. I could see everyone's look of disgust. I can hear all the things they said. I'm sorry, human. Finish them. Punch the host. Let's get out of here. I'm not punching nobody. I knew all these party girls were deeply messed up. They are all dueled their pain with horrible things. And they are tricking you into doing the same thing. They're corrupting you. We need to get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out! You alright, kid? Okay, sorry, I have to run. Damn it. These animal won today, huh? No, 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 just uh, gotta run a marathon. Gotta go fast. Come to my party next week, cutie. I'll make something even stronger for you. Okay, thanks. Gotta ru gonna run, run, run. You and me, kid, we'll show the beast who's boss. I, I actually don't condone alcohol. Human, are you okay? Gosh, that was so close. We could really could have. I'm coming back to the party next weekend. The next time we fight, I'm not going to uh, defeat you. Just defeat you. I'm going to freaking kill you. Oh dang, well that sucks. I don't like dying. You win. Woo! Amazing! Amazing! I love- Oh god, this is awful. Cheers! Is she using humans as a chair? Ah, uh, that hits the spot. You know, kid. Specifically, the spots hit R, my left and right. Amygdala. You remind me of myself when I was younger, back when I was tormented by the animal in my head. I'm so grateful I can pay it forward and help you kill the beast the way I killed mine. Hey, quick question. True for da- DARE! Aha, good. Okay, you see that baby blue swimming pool down there? Yeah, six floors down. Jump in. This is a bad idea. Wait, what? The animals start whining, hasn't it? Oh no, it's dangerous! Don't do it! But that's exactly why we need death-defying frills, party hard, car carpe diem, snort coke off a of hooker's blood stuffing, YOLO! 
She's a really bad influence, and I don't appreciate it. Show that animal we don't give it two blips about its blitchin'. Jump in! Uh, but sometimes some fear has a point. I'm sorry, did you fall for that mindfulness fad that claims feeling bad is good? Pleasure is the opposite of pain. There are flicking floor. You can use pleasure to fight pain. How do those Silicon Valley pseudo Buddhists not see the slight? Kid, I know that you know the animal hurts people like us. It tortures people like us. It's not our friend. It's a rabid beast which either needs to be tranquilized or have a bullet put in its skull. Otherwise, you're going to let it win. No, you're wrong. I'm going to let it win. I'm not. Yeah! I believe in you, babe! Kill it! This is a really bad idea. <laughs> I don't condone alcoholism to cover up anxiety. And I don't condone jumping into some random pool six stories down to cover up anxiety. This chapter has two possible endings. One is very, very bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Can I save it? Uh, I can't. I'm gonna try to get, uh, the best ending. Choose to protect your human. Ah! Good luck. Human, you could actually die here. This is stupid and self-destructive. These sickos aren't really friends. I'm gonna look out for her well-being more than... <sighs> Oh, she's gonna kill me. You know, I might have believed you if you hadn't tried that a zillion times before. You're the wolf who cried, wolf. Harm. You tried that too. Human, please. Oh, I'm sorry, Big Pharma doesn't approve of my self-medication. Look, a-hole. We all have a way of shutting you the flip up. Some people throw themselves into work. Some people throw themselves into slicks and drug goes and refreshing their Facebook feed. Some people throw themselves into other people. I'm going to throw myself into that swimming pool. You're drunk and it's six floors down. Uh, you're drunk and it's six floors down. Even if you land in the water, the surface tension will crack your ribs and give you a concussion at the least. Eh. I saw a Russian guy do this on YouTube once. Please, don't. Your energy bar looking awfully low there, Wolf. If I were you, I'd choose your next words very carefully. Um. Oh god, what do I do? I never had my anxiety apologized to me before. How about I just leave? Fine. I'm done protecting you. So go ahead and jump. See what I care. Okay then. Bottoms up. Hey, no, that reverse psychology, you're supposed to- Opposite of what I- Oh, well, she's dying. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Don't worry, be happy! All the wise folk of our time agree negative emotions are bad. Duh, that's why they're called negative. Human. Please. A while back I said I just want to be free from all this pain. I got my wish. I no longer feel pain or fear or anxiety. I don't feel anything at all. And that's not better. No. Feeling nothing at all is not better than feel feeling anxiety. Oh no. Well, I would never do that. Well, here we are. Amazing. 
I feel awful about my choices. Lake Tears. <laughs> Game auto saved. Oh god. Here we are. Again. Kinda happy we didn't die. Huh. So, what the hell is the moral of this story? What did we even learn? I was being stupid, my friends were using me, and we almost freaking died. Yeah, not to mention the hospital bill. Yeah, that was the worst case scenario. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, that was the worst case scenario. And yet... Hmm? We survived. Despite everything, we're still here. We seem pretty calm, considering we just had a near-death experience. Well, it makes everything else less scary in comparison. It's almost got me thinking. If me fighting you sucks because it doesn't protect you, but me fighting you also sucks because it just makes you yell louder, then maybe... Maybe we don't have to fight. Yeah! No fighting! Common sensing. I'm not a big bad wolf, but I'm not a guard wolf either. I'm a battered, sheltered dog. We've been through rough stuff. Maybe trauma or neglect. That's why I sometimes overreact and go, yap. But I don't want to be a cowardly dog. I want to protect you. I want to be a good dog. Human, will you help tame this wolf? I... I'll try. Okay, healthy relationship with emotions? Relationships need communication, so let's communicate. The next five minutes are going to sound super cheesy, but let's fake it till we make it. Uh, dear inner wolf, how are you feeling? Total fears use. Harmed. Four. Unloved. Four. Bad person. Four. What fear do you want to talk about first? You can do the others later. I'm scared will be... I'm scared will be alone. I want to make sure you fulfill that deep human need to belong. But I'm worried that if anyone ever know knew us, the real us, we'd scare them all away. I don't know. Enough of me, ch me choosing what to say next. What do you say, human? I agree, let's work on our social life. I think people like us, let's find out. I agree, let's work on our social life. We could practice skills like asking questions, listening, and empathizing, being open and vulnerable, okay? And we'll make better social habits like scheduling time with friends or regularly going to meetups. Could also learn, learn to get more comfortable with rejection. Or learn that to to know when people aren't rejecting us, they're just tired of have or have a resting blitch face. It's a lot of options, but about learning social skills, isn't that manipulative? Won't that make us easier to manipulate? What if we still fell? Um, easier to manipulate really gets to me too. We'll become a welcome doormat, saying please, thank you, and please wipe our f their feet on us. We'll kiss so much, uh, it'll look like we're wearing brown lipstick. Now nah, you're right. Social skills can't, can't be just about pleasing others. It can also got to be about setting boundaries. We can't invite others into our home if we have no walls to hold up our home. Also... That lipstick mental thing. Disgusting. Anyway. Anything else you want to chat about? Um, harm. I want to protect your need for physical safety. But the whole world seems to be dangerous. So full of tragedy and evil. Again, back to you, human. What do you think? You're right. So let's protect ourselves. But, 
How? I have fangs and claws, but I'm just a metaphor. We can learn self-defense, join the community that protects each other, improve our general health and personal boundaries. Maybe, but... Where do we even start? What if they still don't work? What if we go overboard on safety? Mm, that's a good one. I mean, the whole reason you ignored my warning was because I went overboard with safety. Nah, you're right. We would I'd want to do safety in moderation. Everything in moderation. Sorry, everything in moderation. A moderate number of things in moderation. Thank you for making your statements recursively self-consistent. So, anything else on your heavy heart? I'm just scared we're bad people. I want to defend your moral needs, that drive to become a better person. But it just feels like deep down we're so fundamentally broken. And don't tell me we're not messed up. We jumped off a roof. More thoughts, human. So we're broken, let's fix us. So we're broken, let's accept it. I mean, let's fix it. We could slowly build better habits, get our life more in line and with what we value. And if needed, we could get professional help, a therapist or counselor. There's ways to fix us. But if we can't fix it all, what if we fix too much? That's not a concern of mine. We can't afford professional help. Doc, I'm anxious that I'm paying $100 an hour just to hear you ask, how does that make you feel? Mm-hmm. And how does that make you feel? Nah, that's totally a reasonable worry. And it generally sucks that mental health care isn't affordable for lots and lots of folks. Still, there's some cheap or free options. Support groups, online therapy, student nonprofit health centers, building habits like m meditation, sleeping well, chatting regularly with friends, learning new fr things. Going to a library to borrow work birds for evidence-based psychotherapies. There's a full list of resources at the end of this game. Well, that fourth hall break didn't last long. Dang. Some things are more important than narrative convention, such as mental health. Okay, I think we talked about all our fears now. Yes, there's only three fears. Yep, exactly three. Convenient. This isn't some game, you know. Building a healthy relationship with your emotions isn't as simple as clicking buttons on a screen. Can we really get along? Can we work together as a team? Well, excuse me. Hello. W would you mind if I sat with you for lunch? This is your crush? Or are they sitting alone like a psycho serial killer? <laughs> I mean, it's it's okay if we're not just... Wait, did I see you at the party? Yeah, of course, come here. Sorry, I need to be alone time. Yeah, come on, get over here! Hang on, human, they seem uncomfortable. Ah, no pressure, of course. Just saying you can sit here if you want. They're being too friendly! Like Ted Bundy the serial killer! I mean, and we even have, like... These aren't props, but we have injuries like Ted Bundy the serial killer, too. Just saying. Or fake injuries, even though this isn't fake. Run, 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 run! No! Huh, that was weird. I wonder what's going on in their heads. Anyway, you were saying... Uh, I forgot. Something about teams and work. They say you should make peace with your emotions, as if your emotions are war criminals. But I want to make more than mere peace. I want us to be allies. I want to be a good guard dog, just like how hunger and thirst are alarms for your physical needs. I want to be the alarm for your psychological needs. Your needs for safety, belonging, goodness. But I suck at my job, so I need you to train me. I'm not always valid, nor always irrational. I'm just trying my best, so please. 
Help me help you. Though teaching an old dog new tricks will take a while. Maybe years. And sometimes I'll relapse, I'll slip back into my old habits. I'll bark at shadows, I'll scare you with words, I might even show you some intrusive images of things. I'm sorry. I'm a battered shelter dog. Battered dogs... <laughs> They poop on your bed sometimes. <laughs> but if you're patient with me, and just stay and sit with me, maybe you can tame this wolf. Good dog, good dog. Aww, so cute. Cute ending. Even though we almost died. Yeah! Ah, you're still not productive while eating more social parasites! Ah! <laughs> Adventures with Anxiety Created by Nikki Case and their wolf Music by I'm sorry I can't say Ender Pigeon Extra Code Spacey And all these sounds effects Starring Hong and BB That's their names? How <laughs> to Flirt Al and Shire Shire Hunter and Graham. Aww. Oh, I love the animation. It's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you are not alone. We're by 1 in 27 humans have anxiety disorder. But those many do heal and they find help and they share help. Even stay determined, keep on, and build a healthy relationship with their fear! I finish reading. So, even though we have a bad ending, where we almost died, we also have a good ending, where we talked about our fears and stuff, you know? So it's bad and good. It's good and bad. I wonder, uh, what happens? I mean, we got really bad friends. Oh, we get a chapter selection. Oh. Let's replay the other party. Let's see if I can make her not jump off. Okay, I admit it, I messed up. Huh? Ha <laughs> Oh, wow. Isn't that the freaking understatement of century? Yeah, you're a round pile of blood clod at Schleit. You messed the flip up. Any other remarks, Captain Obvious? But revenge on me isn't the answer. But this time I'm actually right. I've hurt you. I've hurt you. I was so obsessed with making sure nothing else ha hurt you that I didn't realize I was creating the hurt. No, Schleit. Gosh darn, it really took you this long to finally figure it out? You could have saved us so much trouble, you big fluffy dumbass. Why didn't you realize this sooner? I'm sorry I wasn't a good protector. I'm sorry I didn't respect you. That's a good one. I was supposed to be your little guard dog and acted as if you were supposed to obey me. There's a difference between a protector and a prison warden, and I crossed the line. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this was a dumb idea anyway. I only did this to mess you up, and, well, I messed you up. Let's just call this round a tie, okay? Okay. Okay. Tie. Oh, yeah, we didn't jump today. I win. Oh, come on. After all the animals done to you, you're just giving up? What's the matter, kid? Are you scared? I saw your anxiety as an elephant, and I'm so sorry about that. But medicating like that isn't the best way to go about it. Yes, I'm scared, and that's okay. It's okay to be scared. Yes, I did the right decision. Did they just lock the door? <laughs> Yay, we don't have broken legs today. Woo! We don't have broken legs. We don't have broken legs. I wonder what would happen. 
if I don't have broken legs and that other person comes up, will it change? Will she sit with me? What if I said something else? Because I kind of want to change that, too. Not to mention the lover damage. We definitely shaved a few years off our life expectancy. But at least we still have a life expectancy. We survived. Yeah, let's not fight. No fight. Bad fight. Let's do it right. Social skills mean nothing if we don't generally care for people. Basically, just don't be a delock. Huh? That's a motivational poster caption right there. Don't be a delick. What if we fix it all? Nah, I guess you're right. We can't fix it all. Now, I knew it. We're always going to be broken. But we can at least be less broken. Scars heal with time, but they never go away. And that's okay. I guess. Besides, scars are sex. <laughs> what the heck is this? No! <laughs> Don't try. Please do not do that. Okay, I think we talked about all our fears now. Yes, there are only three fears. Exactly three. Very convenient, indeed. Ex oh, here we go! Please say the right thing. This isn't your crush, psycho -serical. Wait, didn't I see you at the party? Maybe that'll make her more comfortable. Wait, didn't I see you at the party? Yeah, you were on the couch at the first party I went to. Where I had the panic attack and ran out crying. Hang on, human. We may be making them uncomfortable. Eh, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Just remembering a friendly face is all. I knew it! They're dangerous, panic-driven psycho! Run, 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 run! No! I tried it so hard! Good human. Good human. Different ending, kind of, but not really. Well, really, because we have- we, we talked her off the ledge, so I'm happy about that. You're not productive! <gasps> Yay! That's the end! Again! whoop the doop do do Whip the deep 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 It is a very good representation of how anxiety can change and create somebody and their actions. And Graham! I didn't read that one. Um, I didn't- I like the ending where we had to talk out our anxiety. When I feel like an overbearing weight upon myself, I like to write things down. So I feel like that's my talk that I have with anxiety, kind of. It's kind of talking to myself through my writing. Anxiety can hurt you, and anxiety can help you. So that's also a very good message that this game gives to you. And I know there's only so much you can do in one game, but this is also a very narrow perception of anxiety. Like, there are so many levels to it. There are so many, like, different parts of it. I don't think the game really encapsulated completely everything, but it really did a good job at encapsulating almost everything. Well, like, like one-fourth of everything, maybe. It did a really good job, though, and I appreciate that. How do I- I don't- I really don't know how to word what I'm about to say correctly. Maybe if you follow along, you can get where I'm coming. I mean, not all people medicate, but you can get to the point where you're self-medicating, but going to one party isn't going to make you turn into a drunk alcoholic. Like, there's nothing wrong with going to a party. One party can't change a person, in my perspective. Uh, I don't know, maybe it could. I, I, everyone experiences things differently, and who am I to tell anyone they can't change from one party? But from what I've face so far in my own life, I know that I cannot change from one party. I won't personally drink alcohol quite yet, but I don't think I'm going to turn into a drunk alcoholic if I go into one party, or I'm, I'm going to go to the, my second party and try to jump off of a roof, if, if that makes any sense. So it wasn't a bit of an extreme story, and you, that really got too far, and I really think this opens up a, a new perspective for someone who doesn't suffer with anxiety, 
which I is also another reason I really like this game. This is a really good game. If you guys want to play it, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below, of course. And I really recommend you playing it. You could try some different things, you know, figure out what you want to do and all that. Maybe you want to break her legs. Maybe you don't. Maybe you can find a different ending. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please don't use my anxiety against me. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.